hello everyone, I'm Will Fuller from EnvisionSelfHealing.com and we're dedicated in helping you improve your eyesight and quality of life by taking healing into your own hands. And this episode is coming all the way from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and right now I can uh, look out of my hotel room and see uh, some buildings and some trees and also look out over into the beach, so a very beautiful place to be doing a blog from this week. And I thought it was a good time just to talk very briefly and generally about the importance of balanced use within the eye. Now those of us that have uh, downloaded our free ebook, A Modern Day Guide for Improving Eyesight, will start getting the idea that it's important to reduce as much strain as possible within the eye and within the mind and the brain and that when this strain starts to reduce then it means that our vision can start healing itself and then as we go through the eye exercises it all sort of uh, speeds up the process of healing and it helps bring our vision back to as good as it can be. So by reducing that strain then it really gives a relief just like uh, being on holiday just like being here in uh, Rio even though it's not quite a holiday but obviously it's a it's a pleasure to be doing this work I'm here doing um, some advanced vision improvement training courses uh, here in Brazil so but by reducing this strain then just like you would say on holiday relaxing on a beach you know how you just get that sense of relaxation and things can start to wind down now with our vision, if we're straining it in one part over the other, then that means that it's not in a relaxed state and it makes it very difficult for healing to happen. So I've already talked in some detail on this in quite a few of my blogs, um, certainly things like dominance. So by obstructing the dominant eye that I've talked about in previous videos, and I'm sure I'm gonna go into this in more detail at a later date, but by obstructing the dominant eye, it means that we're using the non-dominant eye a lot more and over time there's a discrepancy between the two and we start to overwork our dominant eye. Now there's also um, something very similar to this, which is using your stronger eye too much, which means that our weaker eye becomes underused. And this can be an acuity thing, so you can simply find out by checking your vision on the chart, you can go to our resources section at envisionselfhealing.com and find yourself a free eye chart there that you can get and just check which eye, read the chart with one eye, read the chart with the other eye, see which one is stronger and then you know that you want to be using the eye that's a little bit weaker than the other one or for somebody that's got a condition or somebody like myself that has a pseudomacular hole in my left eye and a cataract in my left eye then that means that this is becoming a lot more underused than my right eye that isn't as bad. My right eye sees about 20-30 and my left eye is more about 20-80 now after doing some improvement on it. It used to be 2100. So it means there's a big discrepancy between the two. So it's not just about dominance but also you want to make sure that you're using both eyes as equally as possible. Now that could be very difficult if maybe you have 2200 2500 vision and there really is that big discrepancy between the two but when we get that balance back and when we start resting the eye that we're using all the time something that very few of us seem to think about um, in our daily lives and it's certainly a very important part of vision improvement is to rest something that we're using all the time and a lot and it's not just about improving the vision in the weaker eye it's also about resting what's in the strong eye and it means that you're going to save the vision there which is obviously something that you know we, we want to be working towards having good vision even if it's only in one eye for the next 60 80 years instead of you know overusing that one eye and then eventually both eyes become poorer and poorer vision so it's a very important part for you to remember in vision improvement and it's something that a lot of people don't necessarily think about now those of you that have seen uh, my previous blogs, you'll know my uh, avid interest in peripheral vision and certainly this is another way to balance your vision. And this is something that we're underusing our, a lot of in our daily lives is the periphery. So we want to balance between the central vision and the peripheral vision. Think of it 
sort of like ag uh, antagonistic muscles. So when you, when you bring the arm up, then the bicep is contracting, and when the arm goes down again, then it's the tricep that's contracting. So, but you need that equilibrium between the two, otherwise you're gonna get strain in one muscle or the other. So think of your central vision and your peripheral vision is the same. They wanna be working in synergy instead of just overpowering one all the time. So you can do the eye exercise, just like the three size pieces of paper, where you block your central vision and you can wave your hands in the side of the periphery, or you could just walk around the room, or in fact, if you're sitting at the computer, you can just put the small piece of paper on and it just means that you rest that central vision a little bit and it helps wake up the periphery and bring back that discrepancy between the two. Now another way to balance our eyes and certainly internally is to do eye exercises like palming and distance looking because inside the eyes we're working the muscles a lot and it, again that brings that strain that we really want to avoid in the eyes and let's be honest, it's an unnecessary strain. Yes, it's our lifestyles now to be looking from near all the time and be working our eyes in this uh, horrible halogen lights instead of being outside in the, in the nice uh, natural light out there and also when we have nice sunny weather. But our eyes are under a lot of strain. So by relaxing them with things like distance looking, sunning, palming, it means that the inside of the eye, the muscles and the structures can also relax a little bit take a bit of a breather and have a little bit of a holiday as well. So finally, I wanna talk a little bit about conditions. And as I talked about before, maybe if you've got one eye that's a lot more stronger than the other eye due, a con due to a condition, it doesn't have to be that serious, even if it's just one eye is more myopic than the other eye or nearsighted, then you still wanna be able to work the one um, that is less effective or less acuity so that you can help bring that balance back inside. But say you've got a condition like myself um, with the pseudomacular hole in my left eye. Well again, that means that this one eye is ignoring that central part of the eye. And we don't necessarily feel it, but that means that the, the effort and the load has to shift over to somewhere else. So the brain is always going to accept what is clearest, what is the best image. It's just a, a natural selection that our brain does to give us the best vision as possible, which is great. So it means that as I look at you now, I can't see the blind spot. But the downside of that is it means that my right eye is having to work that little bit more, especially that particular area, so that I get that good vision. Now it might sound, uh, counterintuitive, but the idea is to block what it is that you're seeing best and then use that one area that is your weak area. So for me, it's that central vision on the left eye, but say somebody uh, like Richard, who's uh, one of the co-creators of visionselfhealing.com, which I'm sure you all know, he has optic atrophy. So he has um, several blind spots around the eye. So what he needs to do is to block where he sees best, and then he needs to try and use those weaker areas as much as possible. Now, that's gonna bring some improvements, but let's forget about vision improvement at this point, and let's just talk about balancing out the eyes and reducing that strain. Now, obviously that is still a part of vision improvement, but we get too stuck on improving our eyes on the eye chart all the time. It's not just about acuity, it's about longevity of vision within our eyes and also reducing that strain, bringing balance to the eyes so that we have a lot less mental strain. It means that our eyes are under less tension so that when we are working with the eye exercises, then we've got a better chance of vision improvement. And it also just gives us an all round better well-being when we know that we're working with ourselves. And it can be very difficult working with what is weak within us but I uh, guarantee you, you're gonna see a lot better results using it that way. So I hope you like this uh, blog post this week all the way from Rio to Janeiro, and uh, certainly head over to our Facebook fan page at Envision Self Healing, and you will see lots of pictures from here in Rio and also a lot of the great stuff that we were doing on our advanced vision improvement course down here. The course was led by Mir Schneider and also a few other top 
practitioners within the vision improvement work. It really was uh, a pleasure 10 days of uh, eye improvement and also meeting a lot of great practitioners down here as well. The class had at least 40 um, practitioners that were physiotherapists, occupational therapists and also optometrists etc. So uh, a really successful and great program down here. So you can uh, head over to the Facebook fan page and, and catch up on some information on that. You can also get the free ebook that I was talking about, a modern day guide for improving eyesight from our website at envisionselfhealing.com and uh, it's simple instructions there on how to get your free e but you'll also find some free vision improvement programs over there and we're getting some great results back from people on how they're just doing the eye exercises themselves and within a few weeks even people with some uh, more serious conditions like myself with retinitis pigmentosa are really starting to see some improvement so uh, it's fantastic that you guys are really starting to utilize the free information that we've got there and you're starting to see the results you can also follow me on Twitter, William Fuller EM, where I post regular updates on how my vision's going and also some great tips on how you can improve your eyesight. So, good luck with your eye exercises this week and happy healing.